hello so hope you are doing good so i am going to show how we can use this tool there you can see two file one for database and another for our automation tool so first of all i am going to open the database okay the password is one two three so we can change if you want okay so there is three sheet one for database and another for drop down and also there is a user management so this database will store our data and this is our headings so as per heading wise data will be stored there and there is a drop down so there you can see this is our drop down and as per this list wise data will be show in the drop down list but if you see there is a department and section so i am using this human resource for the five times but this is for dependency drop down so when you select the human resource and section will be suggest this type of list if you select production then this will be showing the section list i hope you understand dependency drop down how is it working if you change anything then this will be reflect in the drop down list okay and this is for user management and this will be managed by the tool okay i am close this and we are going to open our main tool so there is the database pass if you and your colleagues use share folder then you need to maintain this share folder link for example this is database so you can put this file in any other shared folder then you need to just connect it where is the database source path so there you can see this is our source path that means this after the, this source path database is there so you just need to change it only okay if you understand how we can manage it okay so there is a click to open form so i am going to open this so when for the first time if you open this tool then you can see there is the login credential so that means as per user id and password you can log in so i am login as admin so just add me and password is one two three so there you can see login button and the clear button and also at the same time you can see there is the two button for minimize and plus icon for increase you user interface and this is for exit to close this form okay so we want to log in so there is a login so after as admin login you can see there is a two types of option one for data management form and another is user management you can see in the top right there is a admin user so if you want to log out then just click to log out okay i am again login enter if the user has a specific role as admin then he will be eligible for the user management otherwise normal user cannot see the user management menu or interface okay that is now we are going to as a user management there you can see this is our user id and role role is admin or user and password you can assign it you can also provide the access for the database just so if you want to this user can input information into the database then you can add access is yes you can also provide the update access you can also provide delayed access to this user there are also you cannot create same name for the multiple user so if you want to create then this will be alert you user already exists and please enter unique id so this user id should be unique okay and that also you can see the update and delete button and clear button so you can add any input add user you can update user and also you can delete any user and this is for clear information and at the same time you can refresh this form and that you can see total count is three that means three user is available and also you can download this user information and you can exit okay so i hope you understand so i am going to log out again and you need to see these are one and one two three so that means user one i am as a login user one and go to the data management form and you can also see this update and delete is not available for this user one okay so log out again and go to admin okay so now we are going to insert our data and management it and also download the form there this control number is 
by default generated as per your prescribed format like MIS and this is the year last two digit and this is the serial number when the next year will come and this will be changed like 25 and this will be start again 001 and date of request is by default current date and you can change by this calendar icon okay so this is the requester and you can insert requester name like test and this is for department so i already said this is as per department wise section will be select for example i am selecting the department is human resource and section will be the as per human resource wise and if you change anything then this will be section will be changed there is a checkbox selection there is also a drop down okay area i am just select this there okay you can change it i already describe you so this is details okay so after input all the information you can save this information into the database okay data added successfully if you want to cross check just go to the database one two three there you can see this is our last data is insert there okay close it and click to open form again and this is our data so you can search any information by control number date of request and request or department and section so i am we are going to search our control number just click the control number and this is for 001 so 011 i am just input there as search okay so we want to update information just click there and this data will be details there show there so okay we are uh, update this after updated information you need to update okay so you can change this approve or anything just need to update so this data will be update in the main database you can refresh this or refresh full user form as well as you can delete information from the database and if you want to download this form just click there just need to ensure this control number available there so we are going to download form but not select this extension you cannot download so for example i am just download form select download type so you can select pdf or at the same time both option is available so we are selecting these both and download form okay pdf option is download and excel are also downloading there okay so download is done we need to close this for checking and go to same path and there you can see this is a request form and this is also the mis serial number that means control number so for example here open this okay our data is download there and close this and go to the form again and click to open form and there you can see the download button for download loading information okay download there report download successfully so I, we are going to uh, again so report you can see this specific data is available there so i hope you understand how we can manage this tool so that's all thank you very much and there is exit and close there okay